All right. So we are looking at showing you guys what the speed tests look like with um, Starlink's new streaming service, uh, new internet service. Um, so I set it up today, got it unboxed. I did a video earlier. I'll post that in front of this one. Um, but more or less, uh, I can give you some quick rundown on some photos here. Um, that's my daughter sleeping, but here's all the, the components that came in the box. Um, just kind of a close-up photos. Um, the video kind of shows, um, shows some images as well, but these are a little closer. So this is the power supply. It's the back of the power supply. You can see the specs there, power, power, um, power requirements, and the output. There's the the white and black um, network uh, network plugs. They don't label anything. It's just color coordinated, which is pretty pretty slick. Another picture of the power supply there. Um, this is the router. This is the bottom of the router. You can see the reset button there. I like how they they put router right there on the bottom, made by Starlink. There's the auxiliary port. I did confirm via the documentation that is where you would plug in your own. If you wanted your own separate router that has a switch in it and a wireless access point in it, or you just wanted to plug in another switch um, to split the connection, um, a couple different things you could do. So uh, that's just to get expandability of the connection or you can just use it uh, you know with wireless through the whole house right now I'm just I currently have it set up with uh, for testing it's just pumping out wireless and so all the testing I'm going to show you is over a wireless connection uh, directly to the Starlink router you see it's got metal on the front with a little light just a little pinhole in the front and it's white on the back this is that cardboard cutout, shows you the instructions, kind of a close up there. And this is kind of the box and all the package contents, the satellite dish and its tripod. I just set it outside uh, temporarily for now, got it set up in the driveway with a clear line of sight of the sky and just plugged everything in and that was pretty much it. Downloaded the app. Um, once you have the app downloaded, all you really do is um, double check that the alignment's good. There's a little configuration uh, like augmented reality set up in the app for doing that and after that you just punch in what you want your wireless uh, password to be and then finish the wizard and uh, you can connect to it pretty straightforward there's not an admin interface for the router yet or anything like that so pretty simple there's the back of the satellite and that's it I don't know what that picture was So now to kind of show you what the portal looks like, this is um, this is kind of what the portal looks like. There's a couple different mounts, the Volcano Roof Mount and the Ridgeline Roof Mount. Um, so you can do that. And then there's a good amount of support documentation here, kind of walking you through the different combinations of uh, issues you might have. A lot of frequently asked questions in here. Um, I didn't have any issues though. so. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, so not a lot to see in the web portal. Um, you know, they give you a sign in once you make your first uh, payment there. You can see here on my connection here, the, the wireless is called Starlink. And so I'm connected to it now on this computer. So I have, it puts out a five gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz wireless signal. Um, I have mine connected over five gigahertz to try to get um, a better connection. After you complete the wizard on the phone, it wants you to do a speed test. There's a little speed te test button in the uh, the phone. And actually, let me see if I can show you what that looks like here. Yeah, so I took some screenshots of the phone. So once you've completed uh, your setup, you can see there's a run speed test button here. And it actually runs this speed test, which is the Netflix speed test. It's called fast.com. So I'll run this one for you guys right now in real time. We'll see what it looks like. So keep in mind, this is not over a wired connection directly to the router. This is 
going from the satellite's uh, constellation down to my satellite here, then uh, my satellite dish here, and then coming over the wire to the, the Starlink router, and then 5 gigahertz wireless to my computer. Um, and the, just to give you an idea, the router is in my garage, and my computer is in my living room. And you can see my wireless strength is not 100%. So it's not a perfect wireless connection. In fact, I can give you a pretty good idea what this looks like. Um, pull up my Wi-Fi tool here. Give it a second. There it is. So you can see here, signal strength. Um, I'll put on 5 gigahertz here. I'll just let that chill out for a minute. So there it goes. So you can see here, I still have my other internet. So my point-to-point -point wireless internet that I've been using for the last couple of years. I have that broadcasting over a Ubiquiti wireless router. And so on the left-hand side, these are the five gigahertz channels that that's running on. It's a mesh network, so there's a, there's actually two of them. And so there's uh, they're repeated there, but you can see the Starlink here on the right. So the Starlink signal is not as strong as this um, this other signal that I that I have inside the house. Uh, but it's still, you know, it's considered a, a good link. Um, and if I look at the 2.4 gigahertz um, spectrum, it's a lot more crowded. Um, but I don't have that radio on right now. I've actually turned it off so it wouldn't switch back and forth. So uh, that's why you don't see anything here. Um, but yeah, you can see the speed test I just ran on fast.com, 88 down, uh, 14 up, and it showed uh, a loaded and unloaded latency of 30 milliseconds and 334 milliseconds. So not bad there. Uh, there's another speed test I like to do. It's called a test my net, or test my dot net. Um, and I think it does a really good job. So I'll show you how this one looks. And I, it, it actually keeps a record. So you can have it test like every hour. So here's a, a log of the tests I've been doing uh, throughout the day. And uh, you can see the one with the little couch icon here is in my living room. I was actually doing it in the garage earlier right next to the router. And you can see uh, the, the speed tests I was getting there. And some of them are really slow. And that's when I was on 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless in my living room. So before I switched over to the five gigahertz and you see the difference that made, it went from like three megabits to 73 megabits. Um, so, you know, just making sure if you're gonna use wireless, you gotta make sure you have a good wireless signal it has nothing to do with Starlink. Um, but uh, yeah, you can see all these tests I was doing, some of them in the garage here. Uh, I did have a couple weird blips in the garage, so that was really slow here, but then it was like 81 and 10, 66 and 12, a uh, little blip here it was three and one, and this was kind of in the very beginning. And so you see these ones labeled advanced. This is my my current ISP, and so it's always, you know, I'm never going to get any more than ten. And I did double check this; it's ten ten down and five up. That's all I get, and so it's always a, a fraction of that because there's always a certain amount of bandwidth getting used up by something. I have you know quite a bit of stuff on my network going all the time, um, and so there's just something always eating it up a little bit. So I'll do one more of these for you guys so you can kind of see. Um, but it seems to be ranging, I would say the range is, you know, when it's not having an issue, it's it's definitely 60 plus megabits per second all the way up to, I've seen it go to high 80s and 90s. Uh, if you look at the Starlink app, it's saying I have like 180. So, I mean, all this is relative to the server that you're speed testing with. Um, and so I don't know what servers Starlink is using, but, um, yeah, let me go ahead and run this one more time. We'll do a test my internet. We'll do combined. And it does several different tests. This is a fairly comprehensive test, a lot more comprehensive than uh, fast.com. And you can also use it to test latency at, across like 12 different servers all over the United States. And you see a pretty good idea. So you can see here is 72 down and 12 up. And the nice thing is when you look go to that results tab, you can actually see your average. Now this is across both ISPs, so it's not really a fair average. Um, but if I if I cleared uh, cleared cleared the data, you can see here 
I average over time. And it's it's pretty good um, comparatively from what I was getting before. You can see in 2019 it was just like oh. So we'll see how this stuff goes over time. But you, it does log your your ISP here, and so you do you can actually sort it by ISP. And so you can see all of the sp uh, space uh, SpaceX Starlink. Um, speed tests I've done, the average, even with the really, really bad ones when it was having a weird issue, you know, it was kind of having a, a dropped moment, it's still averaging over 57 and 11 up, which um, is double my upload and five times my download of what I currently get. Uh, and I pay 60 bucks now, and this is $40 or more. So it seems like a good value, and in the theory, I hope it gets a lot better. Um, over time, uh, we'll see how they deal with the load. That's what I'm really curious to, to kind of see how that works out. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of an overview of that. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll post uh, the unboxing video as well. Uh, but I just wanted to give you guys a, an idea of how this is going, and I'll provide some updates in the future as well. So yeah, if you have any questions, uh, put something down in the comments, and uh, I'll get to it if I have a chance. And uh, yeah, share this video for everybody that you think might be interested in checking out some uh, some internet in, in areas that don't really have good connectivity, um, especially if they're in the Northern Hemisphere because that's where uh, beta is starting to roll out soon. And I think in the coming months, they'll be probably doing more and more of that. So pretty cool. Um, talk to you guys later.